Hey guys, welcome to Virtual RC Fun, and today we are going to be going over the Blue Jay Wi Fi FPV drone. Now, here we have set up the drone. Uh, we have the propellers on it and the propeller guards. Uh, these propeller guards come with the drone. Uh, you, they're not a priority to flying them, except you might want them if you are a new flyer. Um, this drone comes with a 1080p camera at the bottom here, which connects to Wi-Fi so if you can see on the controller through my phone I can turn around and it will see what the camera sees. Um, this the app they want you to use is called Flycy. Um, you can use this is the app you use to see the video onto your from your drone. Um, and the controller comes with a couple of uh, options. We have stabilization uh, calibrators uh, that you can do manually, which are these buttons here, these four. Um, the left is altitude and uh, X or X turning, and this is the forwards, backwards, and left and right. And this will just, what it'll do is while you're flying, to go forward, it'll tip forward, to go backwards, it'll tip backwards, uh, to go left, it'll go this way, to go right, it'll go this way. Um, when when I said the X um, rotation, that just means it rotates like this. So you can aim the camera. So you don't have to stay flying like this the entire time. You can end up rotating your drone. Now, this drone does come with two batteries. Um, it comes with two LiPo batteries. I think they're 500 milliamp, as you can see here. Um, they're very small. They last up to about five to six minutes of fly time if you're constantly flying. Um, and it also comes with a USB to charge your battery and you just plug your battery into the top here and you plug it into USB and it'll charge. It does not sadly come with a wall adapter for this part but it does come with a power bank that you can plug your part into. Uh, you push this button turn on and off and if this were charged an indicator light red would mean your battery is not charged an indicator like green would mean your battery is charged. Now it also comes with a micro USB uh, SD card which I do not currently have in the camera and it also comes with a micro USB card transfer reader for USB for your computer. Now you plug this into your computer and you plug your card into the top here and you can access the files that you've recorded onto your computer. Now also you can access the videos you've taken on your drone from your card from this app so you can push the record button and a take picture button and once you're done with that you click there and you would click internal memory and it would show you the memory you have saved onto your SD card now this app you can also use to control your drone so if we click here we get a controller and if we were to do this the drone would fly and the orientation we had directed it to. Now here we have a couple of buttons. We have a takeoff button here as a third button, a land button as a fourth button. This second button would allow us to do flips with the drone, so this drone can actually do aerial flips, and this would be speed. It has two modes. It had mode one and mode two. Mode one is a slower but easier learning mode, and uh, mode 2 is a faster, more experienced mode. Now here, at the top, it'll tell us how much our throttle is. So if I put the, um, here, as you can see, on the controller, it'll say 50, or 51. And here on the app, it does say 50. If I were to put the throttle all the way down on the controller, it says 0. And on the screen, it also says 0. Now the rudders, it says that they are at 100%. They are all working. Uh, Elevators, it'll say 100% all working, and the ailerons, it'll say 100% all working. Now, this here is headless mode, which basically, while the drone is in the air, it will spin like this. And no matter if you push forward or not, it will go forward and it'll spin. This is just a very basic flying mode, which makes it a lot easier to fly. And that'll end up blink changing the colors. They start blinking on each side. Um, I don't know why, but I do know 
that they do blink. Now, this allows me to <coughs> control the aircraft with uh, my phone. So this would be uh, throttle to 100, and it does say here on the phone 100. It does not display on the controller, but it does. It'll go 100 here, and it'll just tell me the percentages of my throttle, rudder, elevator, and aileron. And then these four bars will are basically these calibration buttons, but on my phone. So you do not need this uh, controller to fly your drone, which is pretty nice. Now this drone is set up so it can do... Um, it can do... Uh, FPV which is first person uh, flying so if I push here VR I could put this into a virtual reality headset and I can see the left and the right eye now I will tell you that you this has a very short range of about 300 feet and the FPV range is very much less than that it's about 10 feet and it starts to become unusable now this tells the battery life of your controller or the signal I believe of the controller and these settings are to transmission quality so I can do a transmission quality of 720p on my camera and it'll give me a 720p picture of you guys uh, also it'll allow us to tr uh, save trimming or reset trimming uh, right now, I'm just going to not have trimming saved, and there we go. Now this right here, it does, I don't know if you can see that, but tells us that the FD card is not installed on the uh, device, but it uh, if you do have it plugged in, it will work. So that has been the conclusive review of the Blue Jay Wi-Fi FPV drone and this right now will be a flying test so we have our drone all calibrated up and to get it to fly all we need to do is either push the takeoff button on the controller or put the two buttons together and it's ready to go There's our x-axis turning, left, right, back, forth, and let's push the landing button to land it. So that has been the full conclusive review of the Blue Jay Wi-Fi FPV Aerial Photography Drone. Thanks for watching.